Now we're going to look at the conservation of mass. We previously looked at the convection theorem, which we developed previously, labeled equation 66 in the previous lecture. We're going to denote mass as m of a particular fluid parcel in a fluid parcel volume v sub t. So we're trying to develop the conservation of mass equation, and we're going to define mass m by integration of the density. So density is rho at position y at time t in space. So time is t and position y. So mass m will be the volume integral of the density rho at time t in position vector y dy over that particular volume. So obviously density is in kilograms per meter cubed to a volume integral and then we'll have kilograms, mass in kilograms. So that works out dimensionally. Now if that particular fluid parcel is moving, the mass must be conserved so that we can find, say, dm dt is zero. So this is just the principle of conservation of mass, that mass cannot be created or destroyed. For this particular identity to be valid, for any particular initial volume labeled v sub zero or not, so this is say vt, if t is zero, then we have v naught. We can find the equation for conservation of mass using the convection theorem. So we'll have the material derivative of rho plus rho times the divergence of the velocity vector u will be zero. And we box this equation because, of course, it's for a compressible fluid. Remember, if we are in an incompressible fluid, the deformation of Euclidean space will give us the same volume over space and time for any particular volume. If the fluid's incompressible, that also implies that rho is a constant. And then the density of the parcel, the fluid parcels that moves through space and time cannot change. Therefore, we'll say the material derivative of rho is zero, and then we can simply write divergence of u is zero. That's the divergence of the velocity vector will be zero. This is often called the dl and bauer condition, the divergence of u is zero. So for incompressible fluids, we can say that partial rho, partial t, equals negative u vector dot nabla rho. If the fluid is homogeneous, then density does not depend on position. Remember, homogeneous means that the statistics of the flow are invariant with space. So we can write the ordinary derivative of rho is zero, and we can show that the density is indeed constant in space and time for incompressible homogeneous fluids, and we can write rho as constant. This is basically the kind of weak or informal definition that we teach students in Introduction to Fluid Dynamics.